Hello my fellow Disney nerds, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, I'm Roxana. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make um, Chewbacca ears. These are going to be uh, DIY Chewy inspired ears. So if you want to learn how to make Chewy ears, then stay tuned. Alright, so for this DIY, you're going to need some faux fur that looks like Chewy's fur, um, fabric scissors, a marker, some cardboard um a headband and then i'm using this lounge fly bow that had clips but i took the clips out um your cutting line template and then your um foam embedding template and then spacing template and then you're also going to want to need hot glue gun some glue sticks and polyfill all right so you're going to want to take your foam and bat batting template and trace it onto cardboard the cardboard i'm using is from an old bo uh, box that i had you're going to want to trace four of those um i do want to say that i traced and cut one of them out off of off camera so that it made this video not so long but you do want to trace four of those since this is a no-sew method. And then have cut them out. All right, and then once you have them cut out, you're gonna wanna go to the fabric and then take your tracing template and then trace it onto the back side of the fabric. Trace four of those out. And then once you have them all traced out, you're going to want to cut them all out. Now, I'm using fabric scissors to cut them with. You can use a rotary braid, but I have um, fabric scissors. And then you're going to want to glue the cardboard pieces to the fabric section by section and be extra careful because it's very easy to burn yourself using a hot glue gun. And then once you have them glued, you're going to want to stuff them. Be careful not to overstuff them, otherwise their cardboard will bend. And then once you have them stuffed to your liking, you can close glue them shut.
And then you're going to be gluing the pieces together. Once you have your ears glued together, you're going to take your headband and your bow and kind of line them up to see where you want them to be. I have an ear spacing template, so that's what I use. And then I use a generous amount of glue at the bottom of the ear. And then you're going to want to press down really firmly. All right, and then once you have both ears glued down, you're going to want to glue down your bow. The bow I'm using came from Hot Topic. I just took the clip out, and this is what they look like. Comment down below on what ears you want to see me make next, and then thank you for watching. <laughs>